Hey guys, I'm Ty, and today we'll be making peanut butter cookies. How you doing today? I'm Ty, and like I said, we're making peanut butter cookies today. How y'all doing? Tune in. So, keeping it simple, I'm going to start off very simple. We're going to take some peanut butter. It all depends on choice. It doesn't really matter. Whatever peanut butter you like, that is your choice. I chose the a Jiffy Chunky Peanut Butter with peanuts in it. I'm going to get a decent amount of peanut butter. So, keep it simple. What I'm not going to do for you guys is give you the fake smile. What I will do is tell you my steps. Sometimes peanut butter can be pretty thick. I often will warm mine up. I don't know why today I did not. I think I was making this video kind of on the fly. Just back tinsel. Put the peanut butter off. Keep that clean. Use my cap. Show you guys about how much peanut butter we're going with so far. Get this out the way. Use better lighting. So, if you want more, that's your choice. That's what I'll be going with for now. But we got to add other ingredients. I'm going to add some all purpose flour. I mean, truthfully, I think I kind of soul cooked with everything. So I kind of level it off eye. I've been doing that since forever for myself. Uh, everybody's different. I don't often use measuring cups, but I think maybe for future more videos, I would do so for all. So yeah, we need about two cups of flour. So one. Two cups of flour and white sugar is often good to use. Some people choose no sugar, that's your choice. I was out of white sugar, even though I just went grocery shopping today, kind of spaced out on that one. But I got some brown sugar, you don't need a lot of that. So, continue on. Smell of sugar. So you guys add it to there. Level it out. What are you just bought this other salt today? You ain't got nails, use a knife. There we go. You can a couple pinches of salt. Lighter pinch. I got my stove preheating at 360, but I'm gonna drop it. To 355. I'm gonna turn some of these ingredients in while they're still kind of slightly dry. I'm gonna grab me an egg, add to it one good old egg. I'm gonna take me hmm, two teaspoons of butter. Matter of fact, two and a half teaspoons of butter. Rinse my cup. Two and 
two and a half teaspoons of butter. I'm measuring off I. I wonder how you guys do it at home. Mix those ingredients in while they're still rather dry. The eggs, I only add a slight moisture to it. Pop this into the microwave. I give it about a minute. Not gonna take a whole minute, but I give it a minute. Add a little taste of milk. That don't take too long. Whoa. I've only added a slight taste of milk. You only want to add a little bit of milk just to wet it, but not to make it super wet, just slightly. You still want to have a thicker consistency. Because you're basically making cookie dough. Well, peanut butter cookie dough. So I'm going to show you that consistency so far. Turn my light. They're still slightly dry, slightly moist. Let's see. Set this back up here. Grab that butter on at that microwave. Got a good old piping heat to it. I'm gonna slowly mix it in. Different spots. Get it in there. It nicely incorporated in. Give it a good, good old turn. Good old turn. Good old turn. I keep on turning it. Oh yeah. So it turns. You want to get all the ingredients nice and mixed in. I'll show you a beforehand before I get them in the stove. It gets nice and thick as I suspected it would. You can use a spoon to get it off the other spoon. Always be sure to clean your utensils, folks. That's the biggie. I know you know that anyhow, but I say it just in to make sure it was stay fit. Oh, that's nice. Using the back of your spoon. To get it off the other spoon. And I'm gonna add me a little bit of baking powder. I'm about to Ugh. wash this now. Just look at this. About two teaspoons baking powder. Mm. Get that nicely incorporated in. Nice incorporated in. Mix, get it all mixed together. If it's nice and thick, you got it right. If it's too moist, add a taste of more flour to it and a little bit more sugar. Egg is always for the consistency to keep it to stick together. Sugar content is all debatable depending on how much you want. It smells really good though. A little bit of milk for calcium. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. This is exactly where we want it to be at. So I prefer it. Show you guys. Burn the light. That's a nice good peanut butter dough. Well peanut butter cookie dough. Next step before we pop in the stove. Give me a good old pan out. I'm gonna go with my handy daddy. Good old handy daddy. 
this pan weather storms with me. Be a good old thorough wash. Oh yeah. Good clean wash. Good clean shake. Whew. It's all in the hands. Don't you hate when that happens. Oh, we're still going, we're still good. We're still golden, pony boy. All right, let's try to grab the oil. And I almost tossed the phone. That would have sucked. Oh. All right, out the way. This is getting to be a rough production, but we're gonna follow through. And I got me some pan cooking oil. Only really need a little bit of pan. Light. And I'm gonna cut me a taste of butter. And get me one more good old spoon. More than what's needed. When it's necessary, do what you got. I'm gonna take that spoon and spray it all the way around. Oh, that's totally Coating the pan with a little bit of butter. No part left behind. Just the part of not sticking. So the flour, just a little bit. Get that flour all around. I would say it tastes more. You gotta be safe to sorry, right? And now. I want to shape us out some cookies. And hold on. I'm like to be very thorough with this part. Wash your hands. One more again. Okay, now we're gonna shape out some cookies. Make sure we're still running. We are. All right, good. How y'all doing out there? Getting a little serious, trying to hide around. Actually, a little oil on my hands. I like to use my thumb to get a good shape on it. Right on down and repeat. Get some on the spoon. Roll off. Roll a circle. Use your thumb. Right on down. Give it some space. So when they grow, you don't have the problem about how to horribly separate them. Thumb it out. Thumb it out. Pop them down. Keep on repeat. You can make them big as you want, small as you want. It is your choice. But whatever you do, have fun with it. Be creative. Cooking really should be a joy. It's a fact that it is a labor of love. And we all got to eat. That's a fact that everybody knows. 
But big thing is, can you enjoy what you get to eat? Get outside the Monday, right? Let's cut it. Keep it up. Nice circular motions. All about the thumb. The thumb really is a big hit. Give me a couple more. We need to go buy me some more pounds. Make a good order. Thumb it out. 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 Yes, that's cool. Now this other part, I'm gonna wash my hands, folks. Being you washing your hands, that's serious. No cross contamination. Yes, I can. I do mine. Give them a good old press. Give them a turn. Press. 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 I turn. I press. Press. Turn. I press. I press. of the dough I roll into a log and put up for later and I've had the stove already preheated at 355 pop in here about 10 minutes I'll show you guys after the video